induction motors are crucial for running various applications in almost every MSME unit. Whether it's big or small, these motors find wide range of applications across India. The energy consumed by motors mainly depends on the type of applications and vary accordingly. At times, motors fail and work of a unit may come to a standstill. Motor failures are largely due to two factors, mechanical and electrical. If we classify the two categories further, then mechanical failures can be attributed to misalignment, wrong foundation, structural defects, etc. On the other hand, electrical failures may be because of voltage imbalance, overloading and insulation failure. To know more about electrical failures, Jeff World Bank project financing energy efficiency at MSMEs carried out an in-depth research on the usage of electrical motors in the Faridabad industrial belt, considering it represents a wide range of industry and motor usage. The share of electrical energy consumption by the motors in this cluster is substantial and so are their failures. After analysis, the experts team concluded that the failures are mainly due to power quality issues and poor operation and maintenance practices. Industrial motors are typically designed for F-class insulation, which means that the winding can withstand up to 150 degrees centigrade. However, reasons like improper voltage, voltage fluctuations, improper lubrication practice, damaged bearing, that can increase the winding temperature. The rise in temperature and its exposure time can affect the properties of the core, thereby increasing the losses. It is known that a 10 degree rise in winding temperature can reduce the motor life by half. These electrical failures lead to the next obvious step, motor rewinding. When our motor is bad, we send it to our rewinder. उसके रीजंस दो हैं बेसिकली एक तो कॉस्ट इज वेरी बिग रीजन दूसरा ये है कि मोटर तो एज इट इज पूरी की पूरी यूज हो ही रही है खाली स्टेटर में ही रिवाइंड हो रही है रोटर ठीक है उसका जो अभी क्वेश्चन आए कि इसकी एफिशिएंसी के ऊपर फ्रैंकली स्पीकिंग हमने आज तक कभी इस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू को कभी क्वेश्चन में ही नहीं लेके आए कि भाई इसकी एफिशिएंसी क्या रहेगी ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ये मोटर हमको रिवाइंड की हुई मोटर हमें सस्ती पड़ेगी या महंगी पड़ेगी the rewinding process of motor is usually carried out by semi-skilled or unskilled people who, with each rewinding, do probably more harm to the motors than good. Let's see how. Improper handling while opening the case of motor causes damage to the core. While removing the old windings, insulation gets damaged that may further increase motor failure. Windings are generally of low quality and substandard copper is used for motor rewinding which does not conform to BIS specifications. There are not many trained or certified rewinders in the cluster. Due to all these factors, the cluster today is facing huge energy losses with each rewinding. Consider a new motor having an efficiency of 90%. The estimated energy loss would be in the tune of 20,000 rupees per kilowatt. As observed during the study, the cluster experiences motor rewinding of about 7 to 8 times in a 10 year life period. Now, 1% efficiency drop after each rewinding, this cost may go up to rupees 45,000 per kilowatt. The main objective of the project was not only to point out the causes of electrical failures in the motor, but also to guide about the best practices for MSMEs and local service providers to improve the efficiency of the equipment. Accordingly, a pocket guidebook has been launched showcasing how to select, operate and maintain motors for the units according to the applications. If motor fails more than thrice during its lifetime, the foremost choice for the unit owners should be to go for a new one. As a part of study, few crucial points have been highlighted for rewinders who deal in rewinding motors in the cluster. The workshops should be equipped with necessary test benches, tools 
and tackles and testing equipment for conducting rewinding of motors. The rewinder must obtain all the information on capacity, rated current, winding design, causes of previous failure, no load current variation, etc. for any motor requiring rewinding. Never use force to open the case of motor or winding from the slot. It is advisable to apply mild heat while taking the winding out from the slot. Impregnation should be done in vacuum condition to avoid any possible air pockets. Care should be taken to avoid damage to the core and insulation part. Rewinding should be carried out in a dust-free environment. Standard quality of wiring material having ISI mark should be selected for the rewinding process. The rewinder should check that the no load current is not increased after the rewinding process. Motors account for almost 40% of the electricity consumption in industry. Consequently, it is very important that they are efficient. This diagnostic study provides us with a range of interventions that can make motors efficient and at the same time save costs for us. In this day and age where make in India is important, where having a zero effect, zero defect situation is important, this becomes all the more important that we move towards energy efficient motors. You benefit because your costs go down. The nation benefits because we have to invest less in energy and the world benefits because of lower carbon dioxide emissions. Let us work together to move towards a energy efficient motor future. It's high time to select ways and technologies that can increase your profit margins, save energy and help in building the nation.